challenge is what people look for a lot because there's no abilities. It's all on that draft. It's all about freestyling. And you know, Nick, the Madden Challenge has been around since 2003, man. So many legends have participated in it. And what a way to start it off with two staples of the Madden community in Little Man and Joe. It is going to be Lil' Man kicking off with the ball. Look at this by group, the number of EA major appearances, the experience here in Group A, 30 total EA major appearances. Yeah, that's insane, man. This group is just so good. Lil' Man, Joke, Bugs, and Crush. All these guys could win the tournament. Just a stacked group. All right, if it's some people first time tuning in, first of all, we appreciate you. But, TD, talk about... This time right here where they're setting their audibles, they're setting their subs, this is so important, especially here in Mutt Draft, where there are no abilities. You didn't get to build this team before you came out here to San Francisco. Yeah, no abilities. This is all raw talent, and these guys are going to take a delay game here so they can all set each other's audibles on offense and defense. Just great sportsmanship. And you want to have your whole team set up. You want to have all the plays you're ready to run. And as you can see here, they take that delay game. And like we said, these guys are best friends inside and outside of Madden. They know what each other wants to do. They lab with each other every day. It's going to be about, you know, who, it's going to be probably a, you know, a nitty-gritty game. Who can get that one turnover, really? Choke is going to be starting off with the ball first. He is representing the New England Patriots on the field. Little man as the Dallas Cowboys. Kyler Murray, the rookie sensation from the Arizona Cardinals. He will be at the helm with Saquon Barkley and Dalvin Cook, the two backs in the backfield. It's going to be Saquon almost able to break it to the second level. Give him eight on first down. Yeah, joke in that Denver Broncos offensive playbook, he loves this strong, close formation. Look for a lot of dives, off tackles, and then he's going to utilize the post route with his sh Shannon Sharp tight end. Here he goes to a dive out of weak, out of the weak formation. Big hit in the middle. That was Devin Bush, one of the players most selected on defense because of how much speed he brings to the middle linebacker. So much speed, so much Chip power, Devin Bush, insane in real life too. What a great draft pick by the Steelers this last year. The rookie out of the University of Michigan is now a early third down opportunity for Lil Man to get off the field. Talk about two players who know their offensive game plans. These guys were labbing together last night. They knew, even though we're playing in the same group, we got to make sure we both move on. Throw to the flat. It's Darius Geis wide open. Geis, one of those players, not drafted. It was actually one of the auto-generated players of the base team. Yeah, that's one of the base players there, that Darius Geis, but he he, he does I think he didn't have this, the right subs in right there. I believe he has Dalvin Cook, just didn't put him in right there. Kind of a costly mistake, although he did get a good gain right there. And Joke, like we said, he's going to run these under center formations. You're going to see some strong close, some eye form, some weak eye. Little man doesn't have an answer for it right now. TD, if my costly mistake gets me 20 yards, I'll take those costly <laughs> mistakes all day long as Joke able to pick up the first down and continues on the offensive side of the ball, third all-time in EA major appearances, tied with another group mate, Books, also with 10. Murray throws it to the flat. There's Dalvin Cook out there. All right, TD, you say it was a mistake. Cook only got one yard. Darius Geist got 20. Well, now I think Little Man's expecting it after that first time. And he has Saquon Barkley at running back and Dalvin Cook at fullback, two of the best running backs in Mutt Draft that you can get, and he has them both in his backfield. Second down and nine. Group play, everybody plays each other. Tiebreakers by point differential. So you may see some running up the score late as he's got a man open. That's Hollywood Brown. You can't leave Hollywood Brown. That open, our first touchdown of the Madden Challenge goes to the man known as Joke. He's no joke out there on offense. Phenomenal play by Joke. He went with that post slant combo. It's a very popular concept right now with the backside hitch and that slant was wide open. Little man chose the post. Easy touchdown for Joke, Hollywood Brown. I think the most impressive part about that touchdown, is I'm gonna guess Lil Man knows that play better than anybody, and it's still so tough to stop. Yeah, and you know, the thing out there about Lil Man is that, you know, they say he, he runs a lot of joke stuff, you know, he doesn't really come up with his own stuff, and as you can see there, Joke setting the tone early. Both rocking their EMB sweatshirts. So proud of what they've been able to build over with Elite Madden. As now it's Lil Man's first time on offense. I was talking in the back and I was saying, you know, last year no doubt, Drini had the best year of anybody, but if it weren't for what Drini did Lil Man might have had one of the best years with two top four finishes in majors in Madden 19. Second at the Classic, fourth at the Madden Bowl. Yeah, you make a great point, Nick. I mean, Lil Man's been around so long. He's been so consistent every year this is a guy, I was talking to RG in the back, and he said he would show up to tournaments and he would lose first round, but he would stay the entire tournament to learn what everyone was doing, and he dedicated himself to the craft to become one of the best players, arguably, of all time. Low man, of course, as we showed in the beginning, 
Number three in rushing yards, but he also has the third most passing touchdowns of the 16 that are here. 227 throughout ladder play as we get to see what his offense looks like. And no surprise, he's coming out in that strong eye close formation. He's got Ryan Tannehill at the helm. He's going to hand it off to a familiar guy. That's Saquon Barkley. Both guys running with the phenomenal New York Giants. Yeah, my key to victory here for Little Man is we we know how he plays. Or how he, he's going to play like Joke. And, you know, Joke is one of the best defensive players. He knows what he's going to do. I want to see Little Man, you know, do something a little unorthodox, a little out of the ordinary that, to catch Joke off guard maybe. But he's in this Ream Bay playbook. He's going to run a lot of strong close. Might go to that doubles week as well. So he drops back to pass. He's going to look for Marvin Harrison on the outside. Little possession catch. Safe play. Picking up six, man. This time last year, TD, I would have been laughing if somebody had drafted Ryan Tannehill. What a year he had. Comeback player of the year for the Titans. Oh, yeah, for sure. What a move by Mike Vrabel to switch quarterbacks as well. Tannehill bringing them to the AFC Championship. Big third and four here coming up for Little Man. He went to that hitch route, one of the best routes in this game. Let's see if we can cook up here. He's got Harrison split to the left. Now Stills in motion from right to left. Tannehill drops back, pressure up the middle. He finds Kenny Stills. He will pick up the first down at the 47-yard line. Yeah, nice little slant route right there. These guys loving their slant routes out of this strong, close formation. Big pickup for Little Man and his confidence moving forward here. Joke coming out in that 3-4 edge blitz. We see that so often this year. Look for Little Man to get to the ground game here. First down and 10. Barkley in the backfield. Little Man running out of that Miami Dolphins playbook. He had that early, and then he switched to the Packers on the second chance round. Dolphins, a playbook that we are actually going to see a couple times as Barkley goes up the middle. A lot of people who run that split close like the Miami Dolphins, but would you agree Green Bay Packers, Denver Broncos are sort of the two playbooks that everybody was looking for? Oh, yeah, for sure. Two of the top five in Mutt Draft. Both these guys got the playbooks they wanted. A lot of players in this tournament did get the playbooks they wanted. Um, so, you know, luckily for them. But, yeah, little man in this strong close here. Second and seven. It is Ryan Tannehill, the second player pick in that Mutt draft. Saquon Barkley in the backfield. Tannehill, quick three-step drop. Looking to that hit shot. It's Marvin Harrison one more time. He got Marvin Harrison in his offensive legends round. It's a player that I think a lot of people are selecting because he meets a lot of those thresholds. Yeah, he meets those deep running thresholds, but he goes with the hit shot right there. Those hit shots are so tough to stop this year. Because man coverage doesn't play it. You can low ball them, work it easy. That's why everyone loves this strong close. And we're going to see the end of the first quarter here. We just got a battle so far, man. Back and forth. Both guys look good on offense. I think this is how most people expected this to go, right? Like, this wasn't a game that anybody saw as a blowout because these guys, lab were, they were labbing together as early as last night. They, got, they know their offenses. Yeah, like we said, they're best friends. They know each other so well. They know what they're going to do. It's going to be a grinded out type of game. Joe got that big play, man, with that slant. So that's huge for him. Because I thought it was going to be kind of a field goal game. End of one. It is Joe with an early 7-0 lead. Lil' Man with the ball in enemy territory. This, of course, kicking off our coverage. Eight hours of Madden action today. And we are so happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis. This is my favorite game to call because I know there's just so much coming in the next two days. Oh, yeah. It's Tannehill. Goes that hit shot. It's been there. It's been there over and over. Joke shaking his head. Yeah, Joke doesn't have an answer for it. Little kind of scary throw right there. Joke thought he could get a click on pick, but just couldn't. Nice little pickup. And this is a guy in Little Man here that's played the most ladder games out of all 16 competitors. He played the most games. He, ha he has seen every defense. He has reps versus everything. He's very comfortable against this edge blitz. 313 ladder games. Also the most wins in the final 16 at 216. So no shortage of preparation as he'll go back to the ground game. Saquon Barkley gets one. Yeah, both these guys actually have Saquon Barkley at running back. It's kind of like a mirror match here. Look for this uh, second and nine now. I think Little Man's going to go back to the air. He's had some success with Marvin Harrison on the outside. Little Man number 17. The all-time money list, just over $64,000. Second down and nine. Audible back into that strong eye close. Got James White at fullback as well, so some speed out there as he'll give it to Barkley, but once again, Joke bringing the run defense. Yeah, big third and eight there. Joke playing phenomenal run defense, always does, as we know. Look for another, look for that post slant combo here coming up on this third and eight. 
JD, how aggressive do you get here if you're a little man? I mean, you don't want to do something real stupid where you can't kick a field goal. You want to get points on the board. You're going to get the ball at halftime. But obviously, you want to convert this, this third down. Looks like Look for him to motion over the slant. This be a 53-yard field goal from where he stands as Tannehill dropping back. Looks that hitch out on the right side. This time it's Kenny Stills. Decision time, fourth and short. Oh, big decision coming up early for Little Man. A fourth and one on Jokes 29. And he's going to take the points. Big decision. I, I like it. I agree with it. So many people at home going, why aren't you going for it? This is a go for it all day and weekend league. But there's quite a bit on the line here. The Madden Challenge is from 46 out. It's up. It is good. 7-3. Yeah, and with this mutt draft mode, it's hard to move the ball. It's hard to get points. I think Little Man is confident in his defense. He's going to take those points. He does get the ball at half, like we said. Big thing, though, for Little Man is to get a stop on Joke in this drive before the first half ends. That's easier said than done because Joke may be playing his best here late in the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Joke has made every major this year. There's only a few people that have done that this year, man. I believe him and Henry are the only ones, actually. And just, books. And books. Just phenomenal by Joke to make every event. And here we go. First and ten. Look for a halfback dive. Joke wants to establish the run, he said. Hand out to Barkley. Cuts it right side. Maybe getting two. Just shy of the 31-yard line. Coming off that fourth place finish at the clubs. So close to getting that championship game. And he's been so close so many times. You know, a lot of people pick Joke as the favorite in this tournament. One of the top three favorites, probably. Could this be the time he does it? Man, he's been so close so many times, as we know. Look at that wide receiving pair he's got out there. Hollywood Brown and Jerry Rice. Thunder and lightning. Out to the flat. That's Dalvin Cook. Spin move back inside. Give him a first down at the 42-yard line. Yeah, little man standing on that edge blitz. He doesn't want to cover those flats. He blitzed all his linebackers there. Joke takes advantage with a nice wheel route out of the backfield. Joke, one of the most ardent preparators coming in. He laps five to eight hours a day back home. That shows you just how serious these guys take the game of Madden. Yeah, Joke is a professional. Both these guys, professional Madden players. Joke does this full time, takes it really serious, and it's paid off for him. Murray hands it to Barkley right side. Oh, he goes up the middle, and there goes Saquon. Can Amos run him down? You can't run down Saquon Barkley to the house for Joke. Huge run with Saquon Barkley by Joke. Little man just kind of showed bad stick work right there. Joke didn't have to do too much. Kind of just did a little swerve. Easy, huge run for the touchdown. 14-3, Joke. And now how crucial is this drive coming up for Little Man to get points on the board after giving up a big touchdown? Yeah, this is big right here for Little Man. You're going to get the ball at half, but you got to get down the field and get some points to stay in a one-possession game. Rod Woodson back there. He'll take... The kickoff out of the end zone. Can't even get to the 20. Joke coming out against his EMB brother, one of his best friends. And he shows that, listen, we may be friends outside here. We are competitors right now. Oh, yeah. Both these guys are hungry for the belt, man. They're not going to They're gonna put their friendship aside for this type of matchup. They want the glory. But little man is a fighter, man. One thing I know about this kid, and he's not a kid anymore. He's 30 years old now, but I've known him so long. He's a fighter, one of the best ever. His grandpa would travel with him to so many tournaments. He's always going to fight to the end. On first and 10, it's Tannehill. He throws it out to the flat. Gives Joke a taste of his own medicine. That's James White out of bounds. 15 yards on first down. Yeah, it goes to that wheel route out of the backfield. Both these guys don't want to cover that. That James White at fullback got some good speed. Gets out of bounds. Stop the clock. Now back to the ground game with Barkley. Runs into his own blocker. That ended up dooming him. Down at the 33-yard line. Clock running after that loss of one. Quickly back to the line is Lil Man. Finding himself down 11 early. Stills in motion from right to left. It is going to be Tannehill dropping back to pass. He'll look that slant route to Kenny Stills. Trying to outrun James. He will indeed. He outruns Jackson. He gets out of bounds to the 49-yard line. Smart play right there and great stick work by Little Man to complete that slant. Swerve to the outside and get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Nice pickup right there. Little Man in business. Joy, the thing that's so fun about this Mutt Draft mode is you get to see some players that we didn't really see in salary cap just because of the wide array of players available. Guys like Kenny Stills out on the field. Guys like uh, James White out on the field. Yeah, guys, you wouldn't normally see, but have a lot of speed in this mode. Speed is crucial in this mode. Little man using that great right now. 
Tannehill under center. Drops back to pass. Pressure up the middle. First time we've seen the pressure get there. He's just able to get outside the pocket and chuck that ball into the first row. Great stick work right there by Little Man. Again, he clicked that animation to get the ball carry animation with your quarterback. He, able, he was able to run away a little bit and then throw the ball away. Phenomenal job right there to avoid that sack. Second and ten for Little Man. Pizza Hut Stadium, so great to be back inside. That's how you know it's a big deal. You see Pizza Hut Stadium in play. Ten Hill underneath, that's Marvin Harrison with the catch. First down on the 38-yard line, first timeout taken by Little Man. Yeah, great play right there. Joke bringing the heat, blitz all his linebackers again. He had the wheel route, so Joke had to run to that because he's been hitting him with it. Hits him with the backside slant. Nice play right there by Little Man. One minute left of the first half. It is Saquon Barkley to the right side. And he's able to, I think that's probably the first time we've seen the run game actually work a little bit for Little Man. Yeah, nice half-back dive right there. And Little Man's look great, man. Just the time is against him right now. He doesn't want to take another field goal. Gonna have to use a timeout after this play. Tannehill dropping back to pass on second and four. Dropping back, pressure. That's the interesting thing we've seen so far from both these guys. Neither of them have really been able to establish pressure, but Joke late in this drive has. The one thing I want to point out, I don't think Dallas Clark has that route threshold that he needs on those post routes because usually if that was Shannon Sharp or someone, they would be burning man-to-man -man on those posts. Dallas Clark not able to do that. That's hurting Little Man right now. Look at all the players in the box for Joke. Preparing for that run. He's going to split Saquon Barkley out to the right side. First time we've really seen that. As Tannehill drops back. Quick throw to the hitch. Mm. Oh, it says accurate, but it was far from it. Incomplete pass. Little man can't believe it. Super unlucky right there for Little Man. I love what he did. He, he went a little unorthodox. Like I said, I wanted to see him do motion the hat back out. Had the wide open hitch and just got a bad throw right there by Tannehill. Costly for Little Man, but he does, gonna, he's, he does get points on the board. 50 yards out. It is up. It is good. T. Davis, the difference in this game. Choke two drives, two touchdowns. Little Man, two drives, two field goals. Yep, you nailed it, Nick. Field goals are costing him right now. And if you're joke, you feel great. Because you, if you're joke, you're not, you haven't played great defense. Little man's kind of moved the ball on you. But just those field goals have been huge for him. And he still has a little time here. Let's see if Joke tries to score more. 22 seconds left. Important thing for Joke, he's got two timeouts on the board. He's been able to do it on the ground. That one-two punch, Dalvin Cook, Saquon Barkley, so tough to stop. Oh, yeah, so good. And the one thing for Joke here, you just don't want to make any mistakes. If you go into the half of 14-6, you're feeling great. You, you know, you're one of the best defensive players. You don't want to make a mistake here. Going into the eye form, it's going to be Saquon Barkley. Bounce out left side, spin back inside. He's got some room to the 45-yard line, and that's a play that's going to make Joke take a timeout and think about what he wants to do. Yeah, that was huge. Nice stick work right there to spin back inside. And now if you're Joke, you're in business. Look for him to get back to the air attack and try to get out of bounds, get into field goal range. Talking to Joke beforehand, he said not only is his motivation getting that belt, but he wants to be in that top 10 players of all time. He's thinking about his legacy already. He's still got plenty of years to battle. But he said one of his big motivations is to be on people's minds when they talk about the top 10 Madden players of all time. Just put Dalvin Cook out to the right side. Look for the crossing road here. Kyler Murray dropping back to pass. Looks picked up for a second. And then the walls came down. As Joke can't believe he took a sack there, has to use his final timeout. Yeah, super smart play by Little Man right there. He didn't want to give Joke any time. Brings the heat, gets a huge sack, and now Joke's going to go back to the ground game and try to break one. And if not, he's cool with taking his eight-point lead into the half. Game one. Not only group play here in Group A, but of the Madden Challenge. We Saquon Barkley. He'll just fall down and let that clock run all the way to zero. The score probably not as indicative of how close this game has been. Halftime inside Pizza Hut Stadium. It is Joke on top, 14 to six. We've got another game going on right now. It is Crush taking on Boogs for some highlights. Let's throw to the desk and James. Thank you, Nick. All right, let's take a quick peek at what's going on here with Crush versus Boogs. This is Crush with the ball. This was after Boogs went for it on fourth down and missed a wide open throw and Crush capitalized an instantaneous touchdown. A Drake TD made it 7-0. Boogs would add in a field goal at 7-3 currently, but make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account to receive Twitch drops. That gives you a chance to score up to two challenge exclusive legends, a Nat92 OVR Devin Hester or this very handy Nat92 OVR Deion Sanders. All right, we're gonna send it back to Nick Mazesco and T. Davis.
James, thank you so much. It's a close game over. I think that's what we expected, though. These four players, we talked about their experience in majors. They're so close competitively. There's not one obvious favorite out of this group. No, there's not. There's so many good players in this. Joke and Boogs tied for the most uh, appearances in majors. And this game has been so good, man. Both these guys have really played well. The difference, like you said, Nick, has been those field goals for Little Man. That's been the difference. But both these guys have looked good on offense and defense. Come out of halftime, it's going to be Little Man with the ball. It is only a one-score game, but it just feels like this is the drive that could shift momentum one way or another. Yeah, you really want to get a touchdown here if you're Little Man. This is a very crucial drive again. Back in that strong close. He's looked good on offense. That run with Saquon Griffin, Barkley picking up four. Here we have a second and six. Little oh man, of course, the Madden 20 Colts Club champion. He said after that one, this was one of the things he was like really striving for is to be a club champion. He finally got it done this year. Yeah, that's been eluding him the last couple years. Little man, you know, you always think he would be a club champion. One of the best players year in and year out. He got it done this year as the Colts champion. Ten Hill dropping back on second and six. Looks up the middle. Ooh, dangerous throw because Derwin James was lurking in the middle. Oh, a little scary right there for Little Man. Joke upset, as you can see. That was a game-changing play. It could have been. Little Man gets a little lucky. Third inch is now very manageable. I think Little Man does not want his name to be changed to Little Lucky. I'm just saying. I, I can speak for him when he wants to stick his Little Man. Come on, Everson Griffin. It's on third and short. That's Dallas Clark, the tight end, over to the right side. Kenny Stills in motion. It's just going to hand it to Saquon Barkley right down Broad Street. He had daylight and then the door shut. Yeah, he had another scene there. I thought he might have taken that to the crib. But uh, Joke able to make the tackle. Big first down right here. Oh, man, man. He, the, both these guys look great in this strong close. I'm taking notes on this strong close. Real effective in this mutt draft mode. Already real effective in any mode. That strong close has become a, one of the favorite formations as Barkley will pick up a couple... T. Davis, think about this. Little man coming in through ladders. He had to go through to King, Problem, and Jaywalk. I mean, that is a gauntlet to go through on the ladder. Yeah, real tough road. He lost. He lost to Bugs, right? Yeah, and then he was able. And lost by. Yeah, just, just what a road to get here. Little man always battle tested, as we saw in his road to get here. Center, center number ninety. There we are. Center. Tannehill, quick drop. Look into that hitch on the left side. It's been there all day. He'll pick up another first down, Marvin Harrison. He meets that deep route running threshold, but so far he's only needed to run about three yard routes. Yeah, it's looked good, but I, it seems like Joke's strategy here is just to not give up any big plays. He's forcing him down into this field goal range, into this red zone area, and not giving up the touchdown. Sooner or later, Little Man's got to take advantage and get this into the end zone. First and 10. Ryan Tannehill, the year he had with the Tennessee Titans. What a comeback player as he'll look to that little wheel route to James White. A little different wrinkle out of that strong close. Pick it up four. Yeah, motioned out, a little out row. Um, bring on. the guy out there. Hits the wide open wheel route in the backfield. Nice four-yard gain. See what little man goes sometimes. back to here. Stop taking plays off. Joke staying in that edge blitz. Right here, come on, I'm touching you. Have some faith. He's going to flip his formation. Everson Griffin, it's a Look dive. for another run on this Not play, Nick. run commit, but it's a dive. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Come on, Everson Griffin. Come on. A hand off to Saquon Barkley. He'll pick up a couple to the 31. This is actually where Little Man has struggled in this game. It's picking up these third downs. Yeah, these, these are crucial for Little Man. He hasn't been able to pick them up. That Saquon Barkley has been great for both these guys. He keeps falling forward. One of the best right, cards you can get in Mutt Draft. Forward. And like, yeah, like you said, Nick, a huge third and three here for Little Man. He has to convert this. Third down and three. Last time we saw him in a third and short. Had a hitch around Tannehill, straight up missed him. Tannehill dropping back on third down. He's going to take oh. a shot. Oh, White makes the catch. The running back skying for a big third down conversion, and Joe cannot believe it. Oh, my goodness. I thought if he would have waited another second and lobbed it, he might have had it, but he bullet passed it. Joke was all over it. Little man coming up super lucky right there, and now he's in the red zone. Boy, talk about a roller coaster of emotions. It went from, oh, he missed a touchdown, oh, to, oh, he threw a pick, to, oh, he picked up a first down. <laughs> exactly right. What a play. What a sequence of events. Now it goes to the off tackle. Saquon down to the 11-yard line. Give him four on first down. That's been pretty consistent. That second and six has been popping up a lot. Yeah, it has. He's, he's getting some good first down runs. Somebody and now, Nick, shirt. if you score a touchdown here, is he going for two? Because we're getting into that fourth quarter territory. 
I don't think you're chasing points at this time. I mean, I think it's a tough. It's a tough decision at that at this point. Like if this was second quarter, I go, you know, kick your your field goal, stay in range, but. Clock is running down. It's Barkley off oh, to the outside. right side. He had a probably a touchdown around the edge, but just got clogged up, and Lil' Man knows he missed it. Yeah, the thing with that off-tackle play is it's not like a stretch exactly. The stretch does go more to the outside, so the off-tackle will take you inside a little bit more. He Everson couldn't pull Griffin, it outside I enough. I know. I think he wanted to. And here we go now. Another big third and six for Lil' Man. First time we get to say this here My for the God. Madden Challenge. Put your fours up in the chat. It is fourth quarter time in this EM battle. Joke up by eight, little man knocking on the door. Yeah, man, we knew it was going to be a battle, and here we are down to the fourth quarter, a one possession game, and a huge third and six, biggest play of the game for little man. Two wide receivers set as Harrison's going to split wide to left. Tannehill, quick drop, waiting. He looks at that wheel. That's Saquon. He's got a first down. He's got more. He's got six. EMB standing for every man battles. He's down by two. Phenomenal play call by Little Man. Joke went with a cover two look. Little Man saw it, recognized it, motioned out the flat route. Hat back out of the backfield on the wheel route. Great play. Big touchdown. And he's taking his extra point. Ball is down, the kick is up, it is good. It's a one point game. Do you like the call? Kicking the extra point. It, it's a, it really is a tough decision. I, little man more of an aggressive type player sometimes. I thought he would have went for two, but there is plenty of time. Five minutes ago, he has three timeouts. It's a tough call, Nick. I probably would have went for two, but you know, I don't know, it's tough. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Now we can see Joke on offense. Joke was saying that Donnie Moore put out a Twitter post about how much money players made in each mode. Joke was less than $2,000 in DC, and he said it's a big motivation because a lot of uh, people on Twitter came after him saying he's no good at DC, and he wants to prove them all wrong today as Saquon Barkley gets settled. Yeah, Joke has dominated salary cap, man. The club championship, he makes deep runs every year. Regs, he's always good. He made a run in the Classic, obviously. Uh, Mutt Draft has been the one mode that's kind of eluded him, but here he is. He has a chance to change that. Joke's got that competitive fire. There's one person I'd pick out to get motivated by guys on Twitter. It'd be Joke. Because he wants to prove everybody wrong. Second out of three, Dalvin Cook. At fullback, Saquon Barkley dotting the eye. As even now, he knows utilizing this clock, clock management. So important. He's going to snap this with two seconds on the play clock. Give it to Barkley. Can't Nobody get there. Fun. Ooh, big third and one upcoming. Little man needing to stop. Yeah, Joke being the veteran that he is, you know, milks the clock down to about two seconds, one second on the play clock. And calls hike. He wants to take away this whole fourth quarter. He wants to win by one point. He doesn't care. He wants to end this game as fast as possible. And now we got a huge third and one. Let's see. Let's see if he goes to the ear here. I think he, I don't know. I think he might run here. But this is definitely a tough situation if you're a little man because you don't know what he's going to do. These are the positions that these guys want to be in. Third and short, it opens up your playbook. Rice in motion to the left side. He's going to drop back to pass with Kyler Murray. He's got the flat wide open. That's Dalvin Cook one more time. Spinning off tackles just shy of the 50-yard line. A huge first down for Joe. Yeah, that flat route out of the backfield of Dalvin Cook has been there all day long for Joe. Little man getting a little aggressive, didn't cover it at all. Blitz, blitz his linebackers. And that Dalvin Cook has that high break tackle. You see him break a tackle there. Big first down for Joke. Means Joke gets to run more of this clock off. He's so gonna take this all the way under three minutes to play. As we continue with group A, this group, Joke, Lil Man, Crush, and Bugs. So much experience. We need to make this run last. But none three of these guys have Saquon. belts. That's crazy to look at that four, those four guys and yeah. go, nobody there has been able to get a belt. Yeah, it's with all those major appearances that they've had. And now go. Joe can take this down to the two minute warning here. And Nick, I want to point out both these guys usually talk a lot. You know, they're 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 usually animated. They get they get crazy when the big play happens, but they respect each other so much. They're such good friends that you know they feel bad almost beating each other in a way, but they want to win so bad as well. That's why we haven't seen a lot of uh, emotion. All right, two-minute warning. One-point game. If you're a little man, you got to start using those timeouts. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's getting down now to the two-minute warning. you got to hold him here. You can't give up another first down. Another first down, it gets tough. you got to hold him here. And you're seeing uh, 
Joke come out more in that I form tight instead of that strong close. Why the formation change? He just wants to run the ball. He knows how good the halfback dive is out of I form tight. But Little Man steps up there. His D tackle grits a great shed. And Little Man calls a timeout now. Here we go. Third we got a eight. huge third and eight for Joke. Do you dare put the ball in the air if you're Joke? Oh, yeah. I think, I think you definitely can here. You want to get this first down. A first down, you know, comes close to sealing the game for you. I think he goes to the air. Maybe look for that wheel route again. It's been Dalvin Cook out of that fullback position. Look for that slant post combo he, he got earlier for a touchdown. Third and eight. Murray over the middle. That's Shannon Sharp. Oh, we're talking about the tight end on Lil Man's side not having those thresholds, but Shannon Sharp sure does. Joke said yesterday he was so excited that he got that Shannon Sharp at tight end because it does have that route running threshold, and it pays dividends for him on the biggest play of the game, and you can see the agony in Lil Man's face. And he's going back. Is this the moment where you go back and go, he should have gone for two? Yeah, I think, he, I think he might think about that, but it didn't matter because he, all he had to do was make a stop here, and he hasn't been able to do that. And there goes Saquon, and that's the sealer. Another first down, and Lil Man knows this one is over. How about Joke? It's only a one-point game, but it felt like there was never a position where he wasn't in control. Yeah, really, he really was in control. It came down to those field goals that Little Man had to settle for. Just a great game back and forth. Two guys, you know, it was a grinded out type of game. Two guys that respect each other so much, have so much love for each other. And we expected this, a close battle down to the end. Joke said the reason why he loves this format, no abilities, it's all skill on the field. And Joke shows why he's one of the most skillful players out there. The brothers dap it up. It's gonna be Joke getting, going to 1-0 and here in group play. And that is a key, starting off group play on the right foot. Yeah, starting off the day with a big victory